There's no greater difference between expectations versus reality than football highlights versus the actual thing. You watch football highlights, you see people getting waxed left, right, center, everybody's getting freaking hit, everybody's getting destroyed. So you see the best catches you've ever freaking seen in your life, you see the fastest people you've ever freaking seen, and then you watch the actual thing and it looks like dog shit. You watch the actual thing, it takes them like 30 minutes just to get a freaking first down. You know how annoying it is to watch a freaking defensive game? Like, defensive games are so freaking boring, it's not funny. Like, picture the same play getting ran over and over and over and over again. All they do is run the ball for two yards. Yards, run the ball and get two yards. Run the ball and get two yards. That gets very boring very quickly. And you know what's funny? They do it over and over and over again, and they act like it's gonna freaking work. It's not gonna work. Try something different. It's boring. And then they wonder why the ratings go down every single freaking year. It's because you do the same thing over and over and over again. Friday, 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 Friday. New videos every Friday. Back when I started watching football, people used to get hit so freaking hard that their entire lives would freaking change. Like this place where you literally get set up to get freaking destroyed. I'm talking like the safety coming down from the opposite side of the field full speed and you're just now getting the ball and you would get freaking crushed i mean i wouldn't even be surprised if he never played another down for the rest of his freaking life this man's body got freaking crushed did you see the way his freaking back bent do you see his neck his whole body just bent like a freaking piece of paper like it literally looks like this guy just got hit by a freaking truck like just imagine going back to your family trying to explain the pain that you're feeling right now like let's be honest when it happened your entire family was probably laughing and clowning you in the freaking crowds went to your face they're probably like oh my god i'm feeling so sorry like not to mention even your freaking biggest fans are probably freaking laughing the entire freaking crowd of a hundred thousand people plus the people watching on tv are probably freaking laughing not to mention how replayable this is like i got this on repeat right now this probably happened like 10 years ago like you are literally getting calmed for the rest of your life after this like there's no recovering from it like let's be honest he probably got cte from this hit like this hit probably wrecked his entire life like 10 years down the line he's gonna be walking down a freaking bridge and he's not even gonna know where the hell he is or what the hell he's doing and i didn't even talk about what it was like playing in the 90s like if you played in the 90s it was pretty much a freaking death sentence Remember we used to get hit so hard by the most sour face dog mouth looking motherfuckers in the world? Like imagine getting hit by this guy. You might as well just freaking kill yourself. This guy looks like the type of person to bite somebody's freaking leg in the bottom of a freaking pileup. This man looks freaking crazy. It looks like he just got kicked out the zoo because he tried to fight a freaking lion. Like imagine if this guy was your freaking coach. He'd probably be throwing freaking knives at you telling you not to get freaking hit. I mean this guy just embodies the stereotype of a football player in the freaking 90s. I mean the stereotype for a football player now was bad. But back in the 90s it was freaking way worse. This guy looks like a freaking lumberjack that used to eat freaking children in the freaking wild. I want to eat his children. This guy looks like he was made to scare kids on freaking Halloween. It literally looks like this guy came out of a freaking Ghostbusters movie. He literally looks like the creature from freaking it. Now just imagine getting hit by this guy. You might as well just pack your bags and jump in your freaking casket now. No offense, but this guy literally looks like he eats kids for freaking breakfast. Destroy the child. I don't know why. I wasn't even born when this man was playing, but this guy will always be the freaking face of the NFL for me, and I don't know freaking why. This man was such a freaking savage in every single meaning of the word. Like imagine if he threatened somebody to bang their freaking wife. I would let his whole try. I f you. All 40,000 men and their horses too, if that's what it took. Like, I can literally see somebody saying this back to their wife. And there would probably be nothing that they could do about it. Because this man would freaking eat you. He would eat you alive. Now, before we click off this video, I just want to clarify that I'm pretty sure that this man does not actually eat freaking kids or humans. But if he did eat people, I would like to make a request that he eats all of the freaking NFL analysts. Because they say the dumbest things of all freaking time just to grab freaking headlines. And I swear to God, it makes no freaking sense what they say. I mean, like... Skip is the freaking head runner for this. Johnny Manziel will become even bigger in the city of Cleveland than his buddy and business partner LeBron James ever was in the city of Cleveland. I don't think Skip believes half the stuff he says. I mean, literally when he was saying this, I don't think he believed, I don't even think he knew what he was saying. Johnny Manziel will become even bigger in the city of Cleveland than his buddy and business partner LeBron James ever was in the city of Cleveland. Skip Bayless is a clown in every single sense of the word. I mean, the only thing that this man is missing is a freaking clown costume. Everything else he has done and packed. Nine National Football League teams that needed a quarterback last night passed on Johnny Manziel, starting with the Houston Texans, who will forever regret passing on Johnny Manziel. And in a minute, I will go right down the list of teams that will forever regret passing on Johnny Manziel. Skip can say whatever he wants, but... Skip, whenever you refer to me, whenever you speak to me, whenever you address me, address, address me as all pro Stanford graduate, because those are some accomplishments you will never, you can aspire to, you will never accomplish, you will never accomplish, you will never accomplish. And again, maybe I'm a Twitter prisoner, mm -hmm. sometimes you are too. Yes, sir. Just gut feeling, Tebow has become the most polarizing athlete in the history of American sports, street of American sports. Street of American sports. I suspect still, late at night, you'll stare at the ceiling and try to figure out 
why I failed in the NFL. How do you answer that? Well, first of all, I'd say again that everything happens for a reason. Dream of American sports. Now, I can't speak worldwide, but I'm, I'm just from what I know here. What? You have never accomplished anything. So, but um, those things are on my resume. Those are those are what I've done. It's my second year in the NFL, going on my third. I mean, you tell me who's wrong. Okay, I, I'll accept that. I, I think I've accomplished more in my field than you have in yours, though you're just getting started. So, so I'm I'm the top of my field. So I'm all pro. I'm the best. Okay. I'm the best 22 players in the NFL. You're, you're going to brush it off, but I don't think you're the best 22 anything in sports and in media. Anything. I think That's you debatable. Think more of yourself than you actually can, you know, prove. But okay. You I, think I you're like better this. than Darrell like Revis is right now? In my, in my 24 years of life, I'm better at life than you. Okay. So, let's, all right, that's let's, fair. Let's, let's all get, right. Let's what? I'm talking love and hated to extremes, to the, the the most extreme extremes I have ever experienced, and I see it in your eyes on a daily basis. He moves you the way I've never seen anybody move you. Now you're being moved the wrong way, and I'm being moved the right way. What? And I see it in your eyes on a daily basis. He moves you the way I've never seen anybody move you, and I see it in your eyes on a daily basis. He moves you. Skip Bayless says to be one of the goofiest people of all freaking time. Whatever he says does not come true. Whatever he says a player is going to be good coming out of college, they turn out to be a bust. And whatever he says somebody's going to be horrible, they turn out to be the greatest player of all freaking time. This man has to go on record with the worst freaking takes of all time. The only thing that I don't understand more about the NFL than the stuff that comes out of his mouth is that how do you play in a national league for a world championship? But the part that makes even less sense is that during the Super Bowl, people just pick a team, the team that they don't even like, they just say who they think is going to win the Super Bowl, and then when that team loses, they still end up destroying the freaking TV, even though they didn't like the team in the first place. That makes no freaking sense. That makes no freaking sense. That's the game? If you'd like to support one poor kid's dream to drop out of college, school. What the f and subscribing and sharing the video would help your boy out a lot and it would also help me be more financially independent for my mom what the f but if you would like to support your boy financially i'm also selling a facial massager when you roll it on your face it can help to prevent pimples and acne by promoting blood circulation underneath your skin it also vibrates so when you get bored in the shower you can uh... i'm just kidding but it does vibrate though it's also water resistant so when you start using it in the shower and you start to play with yourself you won't get shocked brutally. For some stupid reason, when I was younger and I had a pimple on my face, I always put ice on it and it helped out a lot. Face a massager and ice are always cold, just like my ex-girlfriend's heart. What I'm trying to say is that it feels even better in the summer. I'm also a broke college student, so I couldn't afford to produce a lot of them, but you can see if it's available in the description down below. That's it for this week. Uh, new videos every Friday and uh... <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. Subscribe, motherfucker.